guys and welcome to today's video. I often get asked a lot of questions about tattoos and as some of you might know I have made a bunch of videos on my channel before about various tattoo topics. Today we are going to be covering tattoo placement and how to choose the placement for your next tattoo. As with most other topics that I talk about when it comes to tattoos you are of course free to do whatever you want, get a tattoo wherever you want on your body, and you don't have to take any of these things into consideration. So just know that you are free to do whatever. But if you are struggling to come up with the exact spot that you want your next tattoo to be in, then these things to consider might help you decide. So the five different categories that I've split this video into are your body as a canvas, the shape of the design you're getting, the visibility of the tattoo, your pain tolerance, and the aging of a tattoo. So first and foremost, your body being a canvas. Yes, your entire body is a canvas, but you also have smaller canvases on your body where you can kind of split your body parts into different canvases. For example, your thigh, your calf, your upper arm, chest, back, and so on. It's a good idea to get bigger and more detailed designs on bigger canvases. For example, back, thigh, stomach, other canvases that are quite big on your body. And it's better to stick with the small and simple designs on smaller parts. For example, a wrist, behind the ear, neck, foot, and so on. And depending on if you plan on being heavily tattooed in the future or not, you should take that into consideration as well when you choose what canvas on your body you put your design. If you plan on being heavily tattooed with tattoos basically all over, you might not want to waste a big canvas, such as your thigh or back, on a really small design. Because if you eventually want to get a bigger piece done that is more detailed, and takes up a bigger space on your body and you already have something small tattooed on your thigh or chest or whatever you want to get this tattoo then you're going to have to either incorporate this smaller design into the big design or cover it up all together. So that is definitely something you're going to want to take into consideration when picking your spot. Next we have the shape of your tattoo and a lot of different designs can kind of be adjusted with ornaments, flowers, whatever you are getting, background, etc., to kind of fit a shape on your body. So the initial design doesn't have to be a specific shape for a specific body part. But if you have a really long and skinny design, perhaps the thigh isn't the best place to get it, or your bicep. And if you have a really wide design, your upper arm might not be the best place because there's not a lot of room to get a wide design on an arm that is long in the other direction. And an example of how to think about it is the tattoo that my mom got recently. She wanted a dragonfly and they look kind of like this design wise. They are symmetrical and are like a cross more or less with the body and the wings. And my mom wasn't really sure if she wanted ornaments around it or not. And she asked the tattoo artist what she thought. And she basically said that if my mom was getting the tattoo on a spot on the body that is kind of centered, then you could add symmetrical ornaments around it. For example, beads under the wings, which is what my mom eventually got because she placed the tattoo right between her shoulder blades. But if she would have gotten it on her leg or on her upper arm, for example, the tattoo artist could have added asymmetrical ornaments because that would have suited the body part more instead of adding asymmetrical ornaments to the back. Because when you look at the tattoo from the back, the body is very symmetrical since it's right in the middle and having asymmetrical ornaments might not look as good as having symmetrical ones. Definitely talk to your artist about that if you want to adjust the design to fit a certain body part. The next thing to consider is the visibility of the tattoo. And for this category, I just have three questions for you to ask yourself. And that is, do you want to be able to see the tattoo yourself? In which case, get it somewhere where you can actually see it without having to look in a mirror. Um, do you want to be able to cover up or display the tattoo depending on what kind of clothes you wear? And do you work in a profession where you might have to cover up the tattoo completely to go to work, etc. 
Those are three things to take into consideration when it comes to the visibility of your tattoo. The next category is pain and pain tolerance. And this is a category that I feel kind of meh about because I feel I have a quite high pain tolerance, so I'm probably biased when it comes to this, but I feel like you should get the tattoo where you want it, despite it hurting a lot. I mean, I think that we can suffer through a lot of pain to get something permanent on our bodies exactly where we want it, but if you are weighing between two different spots and one might be more painful than the other, and you feel like you might have a low pain tolerance, then it could be a good idea to opt for the less painful placement. But pain has just never been a factor in where I put my tattoos. And I also seem to have a different opinion on what is more painful than something else. A lot of people say that fleshier and softer areas are less painful, for example, the thigh or the calf or whatever, but in my own personal experience, I find bony areas to be less painful than the soft areas. I have gotten tattooed on elbows, on shins, on collarbones, and they are always, for me, less painful than getting tattooed on the stomach or on my boobs or on this really thin skin on the inside of my bicep. And that's just how I experience it, and therefore I can't really recommend getting tattooed on softer spots because it's less painful when that is not my experience at all. So that's something you're kind of going to have to figure out on your own and maybe ask your artist for advice. But ultimately I think pain is the last thing you should take into consideration when getting a tattoo, simply because it lasts forever but the pain really doesn't. I think most people can fight their way through bad pain to get what they want. But if you definitely don't think you could, then definitely choose a less painful spot on your body. And speaking of bony versus meatier parts on your body, let's get into the aging of a tattoo and what's important to think about when it comes to the aging. So it's more likely as you age, or just as life progresses, that you will gain weight around the stomach area, maybe your thighs, maybe your boobs or upper arms, and it's less probable that you'll gain weight around your wrists, on your shoulders, on your back, or on your shins, and so on. And areas that might shift in weight or become saggy as you grow old, these are spots where tattoos will have the same like process of aging. If you get tattooed on your stomach and you have a baby or you gain a lot of weight or you just simply get old and saggy, those areas are probably going to get more saggy than the harder parts on your body. For example, shoulder blades or shins. Those parts don't really tend to sag as much as the fleshier parts. So if that's something you want to take into consideration as well, then you could. I personally haven't. I have tattoos all over and I don't really care about the aging when it comes to body sagging or weight gain or anything like that. I just feel like my body is gonna sag regardless, so it might as well be colorful when it does. <laughs> and as most of us know, sun really ages our skin a lot and the same goes for tattoos. So, of course, you should always use sunscreen on your tattoos just to spare them as much as possible. But if you are going to get something really, really colorful done, you might want to get it in a spot that is often covered by clothing or that you can easily protect from the sun. I get a lot of questions on how I keep my tattoos so vibrant. My chest piece has barely aged at all since it healed completely after I got it, and that is because it's usually just protected from the sun and everything, basically. I just wear clothing over this tattoo almost all of the time. And of course that's going to age better than my tattoos down here that are more or less constantly exposed to the sun when I'm outdoors. So if you are getting a super colorful tattoo that is just for you and you don't care if it's not super visible all the time or not, 
then it could be a good idea to get it somewhere where it actually is covered by clothing, just to spare it as much as possible. But you can always get a touch-up in the future if necessary. Another aging and actually healing factor that you could take into consideration is the durability of the tattoo in the place you get it. For example, elbows, knees, hands and feet are very often used. You use your hands, you shove them in your pockets, you shove them in a bag, you do dishes, you do all kinds of stuff. Your elbows are on the table and your feet are wearing socks and shoes all the time and all of these things. They kind of rub on your tattoos and make them age much quicker. If you've ever seen someone with a hand tattoo, it probably doesn't look so great a few years after it's done and people who get like text and stuff on their hands or fingers probably need to touch them up every now and then simply because you use your hands a lot and that really affects the aging of a tattoo. But again, you can get it touched up so if you want a tattoo on your elbow or on your foot or hand then get it and just be prepared that it's probably not going to age as well as a tattoo on your ribs or some other part of your body that you're not constantly using. And last but not least, something that you could always take into consideration if you feel like it is trendiness. A lot of tattoos or sometimes placements such as the tramp stamp or one of these barbed wire armbands, they are very trendy and I mean it's difficult to know then and there if it's a trend or if it's not. Uh, there are a lot of people who were young in the early 2000s or 90s that got the tramp stamp and they still have it today unless they've covered it or lasered it and maybe that's not as popular now <laughs> as it was back then. Um, but then again it also depends are you going to be t heavily tattooed or not? If you are, then you're probably going to cover most of your body anyway, in which case the placement isn't as important when it comes to trends, because you're just going to cover everything anyway, the way I am doing, basically. Um, but if you're only getting two or three tattoos in your lifetime, then you might want to consider the placement a bit more and try to make sure that what you're getting is something not only the design, but also the placement is something that you are going to want to live with for the rest of your life. It's not easy to know and you can never guarantee anything, but at least think one, one lap around. Is this only a trendy placement or is this something I actually want? It can't hurt, right? So I hope this video has at least given you a few questions to consider for figuring out the placement of your next tattoo. And if all else fails, if these suggestions don't help you because they don't really help me much because I, I don't use most of these suggestions because I just think like, hmm, where do I want this tattoo? Oh, I probably want it here. And then I get it there. I don't think about things as much. And if I have something like a space on my body, like, here, for example, oh, I want to get some flowers. They would look great here because I have a spot here that is empty. That's kind of how I do it. And if you still struggle to come up with a placement, then go to some kind of tattoo gallery, whatever, Inkpedia, I think they're called. They used to be called 1337 Tattoos and I still haven't learned their new name. I think it's Inkpedia. Uh, there they have so many great tattoos. They have categories, they have body parts all this kind of stuff and you can kind of get inspiration from there and see where other people have their tattoos and you can kind of think hmm is that a placement I would like on my body maybe maybe not and of course always consult your tattoo artist because they are the professionals and they know what they are doing hopefully if not then go to a different tattoo artist thank you guys for watching give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it if you want more tattoo content don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in the next video until then, have a super duper good one. See you later. Goodbye.